Okay guys, today I'll do a wee video um, on a suspender buzzer. Now this fly, this style of fly was designed by a guy called uh, Brian Ledbetter from the English Reservoirs. Uh, Brian was a English internationalist, so a guy's pedigree like that, you've got to pay attention to the kind of flies that he's creating and using. So, suspender buzzer. The hook I'm using here is a size 10, it's a B100. Um, tie them down to 12s, 14s, 16s, you can even tie them bigger if you want, okay? But I'm choosing a 10 here just now so you can get a good view of what we're going to tie. Um, just using a dark coloured thread because I'm going to colour match it with the, with the seals for that I'm going to use. Um, just a, an 8 thread. So, taking that, touching turns, down the body, Round the bend, as I say, it's just a grub hook. You can use whatever one you fancy, but keep it kind of fine wire. Don't go for the heavy hook like an Osprey or something like that. It's quite a heavy hook. So take your thread down, cut away your waist. Now for the rib, I use this. This is Spartan Clear. So this is a clear um, plastic wrap. So it's quite thick, quite tough. You could use a sort of miler. Um, you could use a pearl. You could use these anti-static bags. Just cut strips off of that with a scalpel and a steel rule. Uh, whatever you fancy. I like this stuff, so I'm going to use that. So break a piece off, tie it in on the side, tie that in. Okay, that's that in there. Now seals fur. I'm always going to use seals fur for these. Now I've just got a batch of seals fur from this guy here called Castle Feathers. Um, looks quite good. Decent price. I bought four or five bags of different colours. And he sent me a wee sample. This is, he's calling this his new black claret. So I thought I'd have a go with this. This looks quite nice. So I always snip the bottom off the bag and it lets you pick it out. So, bit of seals for. And a nice tight wrap on your thread. So dub it in the one direction, nice and tight. Create a very thin spindle of seals for. You do not want this thick, okay? So. Nice and thin spindle till you get the kind of length you're looking for to tie your fly. And then you're going to wind that, touch and turns up the body, nice and slim. Okay, you don't want a big thick body. Now, take it to about there or just past that so that when your thread's hanging, it's just past the point of the hook. So you've created a thorax area there. Now, Take your wrap, whatever you've chosen, and wind that up over the body. So basically you're showing just a wee bit of the seals for poking through between the wraps of, the, of your tinsel, or your plastic wrap, whatever you're going to use. Tie that off. Okay. So just tie that off, snip it away. It's a dead easy fly guys, this is no hard. Now, foam for the top. I buy this stuff out of Hobbycraft. I buy just sheets and sheets of it, depending on what I fancy. So it comes in different colours, so I'll cut a pound each. Choose what you want. Normally I would use the white, or this kind of ivory colour I quite like. Okay. So again, just cut some strips. Two, three mil strips. I use a scalpel and a steel rule, and I just cut strips. Okay. So... On the top, tie that in. So a few loose turns just to hold, so you don't cut right through. And then once you've got it done, you can bed it in a wee bit. Now, for the thorax area, you can make that as long or as short as you want. So you could take that right back, you could wind this right back to here and create a big body. Or I just like to have it just in front of the point of the hook. Not too much. Her body, so about there, okay. Tile up to you. Obviously, if you want a higher floating fly, you would use more foam. So, a wee bit of foam, a wee bit of seals fur to cover up the foam at the front here. Again, nice and thin. Stretch it out. You don't want heavy, heavy dubbing here, okay. All you're going to do is tidy that wee area up by covering up that foam using your thread and your seals fur. Take that to the eye. Now bring your foam forward, get a wee slight stretch for the first layer. Pinch and loop that down, not too tight, you don't want to cut the thread, cut the wraps to hold. Then just take your thread, 
behind. Now that's why I colour match it, so the thread matches the, the seals first so you don't see it. Okay, so you've done it over the front and then you're going to take the foam back, back over the top, get a wee slight stretch and again, a few soft wraps here just to bind that down. And then you're going to come in straight in with your work finish. So, I'll finish that off. Now, a wee spot of varnish in there just to tidy that up, cut your thread. Now, you can cut this right down tight, really down tight if you want. But what I like to do is just leave a wee tiny, maybe about a mil, mil and a half, yeah, a wee stub. Now, I can fish it like that. Because I tie them differently, I tie some with the orange, some without, just depends. They're always worth a try. Sometimes the orange works better, sometimes the plain one will just works better. But if you want to colour it, all you're going to do is dab it with a sharpie. Now this is an orange sharpie, you could use red, you could use green, you could use whatever you fancy. So that's your suspender buzzer. Now, try these and see how well they float. Sometimes it's worth putting a wee bit of muslin. Just rub it in with your fingertip or a bit of gink into the foam and that helps to float it a wee bit higher if you want. But it really should just sit low on the surface, hanging down like that, lay, sort of flat on the surface and the fish just suck these in like these sweeties. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed that.